Brushy Valley Shed. I'm John Wigginton. Uh, behind me sitting my buddy's uh, ramp trailer. He went up to Pennsylvania, picked it up, and once he got it down here, he, he decided it was too wide. We're going to go ahead and shorten it up a little bit. His garage door is a little narrower than mine, and he, he can barely get his raft in the garage, so uh, we're going to work on that. Uh, this is a brand new channel. Um, I just wanted to kind of make an archive of my life, you know, just stuff that I do. Maybe I can show my kids someday, and uh, maybe you guys will get a kick out of it too. It looks like a pretty easy job. My buddies want to keep this rail. Ooh, there's my finger down through here. And uh, so what I'm going to end up doing is just take about six inches out over here, all the way down through there, and just tack it back together. Now, I, I thought that this bumper was actually on the back here. I thought the bumper was the last one, so I, I thought I'd have to cut this out. But no, all I'm going to do is just cut it off here. And then take six inches out of this, and I'll move it in, and I'll just cut it right off. Um, the wiring's a mess. We're going to fix the wiring on it. Uh, he runs a, a guide service for a fishing guide here in uh, Tennessee. And uh, he just needs something to haul his raft around and be reliable. And uh, we're going to help him out with that. Some of this is galvanized, so more than likely I'll be smelling pillars tomorrow. If you notice, there's a little haze that's just kind of floating around in here. That's smoke from cutting galvanized with a plasma cutter. I really don't want to breathe that, so I'll probably just stick to the bandsaw. He's wanting these brackets removed, so I was going to put a wrench on this, but I think it's a little more than PB Blast wants to handle. So, back to the plasma cutter.
you could tell this thing's from Pennsylvania. Much of junk like this fell out as I was cutting. Where are you at? I guess it ain't that bad. Got some chunks in it. But she'll hold.
not too much left to do with this trailer. I had a few screws to put in the boards and cut the jack off the front, but I really didn't see the point in recording any of that. Uh, here's a picture of the trailer when we got done with it. Turned out pretty good for four hours of work. Uh, if you like the video, give her a thumbs up. I appreciate you all watching it. We'll see you on the next one.